Hi guys, I am Vidya and a warm welcome to all of you to my channel. I would be explaining you how to decrypt the cipher text and recover the original plain text based on affine cipher. So affine cipher is basically a set of encryption and decryption algorithm. A encryption algorithm converts a plain text into cipher text such that the cipher text is a meaningless message unreadable by any attacker. So a encryption algorithm takes the plain text and converts it into to cipher text the cipher text is a meaningless message and it cannot be decoded by anyone else on the public communication channel other than the receiver who uses the decryption algorithm to decrypt the cipher text and recover the plain text however to encrypt and decrypt the encryption and decryption algorithm uses same key since we are talking about a fine cipher it makes use of two keys that is k and k2 so the sender who is encrypting the data uses k1 and k2 and he also securely shares it with the receiver so the receiver also uses the same keys k1 and k2 to decrypt now what is the algorithm that is used for encryption by a fine cipher a fine cipher generates the cipher text using plain text multiplied by key k1 added with k2 and it is done on a mod 20 26 domain while the decryption recovers the plain text using cipher text so he first subtracts the key k2 and multiplies the modulo multiplicative inverse of key k1 and does it using mod 26 operation so the cipher text formula that we are going to use is p into k1 plus k2 mod 26 and the plain text formula that we are going to use is c minus k2 minus multiplied by k1 inverse mod 26 so with this information we now move ahead to solve numericals on a fine cipher let us take this particular numerical let us say we have see how a receiver will decrypt the cipher text and recover the plain text so first and foremost the receiver should know the decryption algorithm so what is the decryption algorithm that is used to recover the plain text from the cipher text so the plain text is recovered from the cipher text by by first subtracting the key k2 and then multiplying it with the key modular multiplicative inverse of k1 and mod 26 so what is k2 so we are going to do c minus 7 which is pretty easy into 3 inverse mod 26 now what is 3 inverse mod 26 it is called as the modulo multiplicative inverse of 3 and it is not the same as 1 upon 3 guys so you have to do a particular procedure and find out the answer of 3 inverse mod 26 i have made a detailed video on how to compute modulo multiplicative inverse in one of the videos kindly check it in the link provided in the description box however the standard algorithm which is used to compute modulo multiplicative inverse is called as extended euclidean algorithm which i will be covering in my coming videos so we use extended euclidean algorithm to find out the modulo multiplicative inverse of any number i will show you a quick trick of how to find it here and we'll solve this particular numerical so the first step in the decryption process is you should compute the modulo multiplicative inverse of k1 so how do we find 3 inverse mod 26 so whenever you want to find a inverse mod n what you can do is you take n multiplied by some number x plus 1 divided by a so here we know what is the value of n and we know the what is the value of a the value that we don't know is for x so you're going to use x as 1 2 3 4 and so on and so forth till this entire division here results in a integer it should not be a fractional number it should be an integer the moment you get an integer that integer itself is the answer of a inverse mod n so with these steps here let us try to solve 3 inverse mod 26 now what is n in our case it is 26 into some number x which we don't know so plus 1 divided by 3 now we have to put different values of x as 1 2 3 and so on till this division division here results in an integer now let us see that so if i do 26 into 1 plus 1 divided by 3 
that is 27 divided by 3 i get 9 so here in the first step itself i get an integer and hence my answer is 9 so 3 inverse mod 26 is 9 so we have to decrypt these letters using the key k1 and k2 for which you make a three column table so the given word that is to be decrypted is jtn gtm which you will write down in the first column what is the decryption algorithm that you will be using you'll be recovering the plain text using c minus k2 into k1 inverse mod 26 now what are the values of k2 and k1 k2 is given as 7 and k1 is given as 3 so if i substitute this the formula becomes c minus 7 into 3 inverse mod 26 now what is 3 inverse mod 26 we have already computed this 3 inverse mod 26 turns out to be 9 therefore my plain text can be recovered by doing c minus 7 into 9 mod 26 26 so this is the formula that i will be using now to decrypt my plain text so i write it here the plain text will be recovered by doing c minus 7 into 9 mod 26 so rather than using k1 inverse we will use directly this formula where we have already computed k1 inverse as 9 now as you can see decryption is using mathematical operation of subtraction and multiplication while these letters here that is j t n g t h are alphabets they are letters so we have to convert it into numbers so that you can subtract the numbers and multiply the numbers or rather perform the mathematical operations mathematical operations operation cannot be used on letters it is used on numbers so you have to convert these letters into numbers for which we use the mapping table which is shown here on the right so we can see that the letter j is mapped to number 9 so i shall write 9 here the letter t is mapped to 19 the letter n is mapped to 13 letter g is mapped to 6 letter t is mapped to 19 and letter m is mapped up to 12 so these are the numbers which are now processed by the encryption algorithm or the formula that is shown above the first number that we want to decrypt is 9 we do this mathematical operation on this 9 now that is 9 minus 7 7 is your k2 and multiply it with 9 9 is a k1 inverse mod 26 that we got so if you do 9 minus 7 multiplied by 9 our answer comes out to be 18 mod 26 now how do you do 18 mod 26 as i already taught you when you want to do a mod b and if a is positive and a is less than b it directly is equal to a therefore 18 mod 26 is directly 18 so we get this plain text as 18 the next number to be decrypted is 19 so we do 19 minus 7 multiply by 9 so if you do the computation you'll get it as 108 mod 26 26 now what is the answer of 108 mod 26 so by now you all know how to solve it what is a mod b a mod b results in answer c where c is the remainder of a divided by b okay since 108 is a number which is larger than 26 you have to perform the modular operation that is a mod b is equal to c and c is the remainder obtained by doing a divided by b so we have to divide a that is 108 a by b that is 26 so 26 into 4 is 104 and the remainder is 4 so 108 mod 26 is equal to 4 therefore our recovered plain text number is 4 the next number that we want to decrypt is 13 so we do 13 minus 7 multiplied by 9 so what is 13 minus 7 multiplied by 9 we get the answer 54 mod 26 so again 54 mod 26 you see that 54 is larger than 26 and hence you have to divide 54 with 26 so 26 into 2 is 52 and the remainder here is 2 therefore 54 mod 26 is 2 so your recovered plain text number is 2 the next number to be decrypted is 6 so we take 6 subtract 7 multiply it with 9 and the resultant answer here is minus 9 mod 26 now how do we do minus 9 mod 26 as you can see in this case you got a negative number so when you get a negative number what you do is you add 26 to it as long as you get a number which is you go on adding 26 
basic to it as long as you get a number which is positive and it is between 0 to 25 okay so when you add 26 you get the answer as 17 now you can see that 17 is a number which is positive and it is between 0 to 25 so the answer to minus 9 more 26 is 17 so a recovered plain text letter is 17 i have explained all these modular arithmetic operations thoroughly in my video on modular arithmetic whose link is given in the description i would request you to kindly go and check out that link as well so that you become well versed with solving all the modular arithmetic numericals the next number that we want to decrypt is 19 so we take 19 minus 7 multiply by 9 so if i do 19 minus 7 multiply by 9 i get 108 and we have to do mod 26 so what is 108 mod 26 now since 108 is a number which is larger than 26 you divide 108 with 26 so 26 into 4 is 104 and the result of subtraction that is the remainder is 4 so 108 to mod 26 is 4 so we got the recovered plain text as 4 the next number which we are going to decrypt now is 12 so you do 12 minus 7 multiplied by 9 the resultant of this is 45 mod 26 so what is the answer of 45 mod 26 since 45 is greater than 26 you divide 45 with 26 so 26 into 1 is 26 and the remainder of this is 19 45 mod 26 we got as 19 so my recovered plain text letter is 19 so using the decryption algorithm we recovered the plain text numbers however we are not interested in the number we are interested in recovering the plain text word we want a sensible word or sensible sentence which the sender has sent to the receiver so we have to now convert these numbers into letters or alphabets for which we use this mapping table here so from this mapping table on the right you can see that number 18 is assigned to s number 4 is assigned to e number 2 is assigned to c 17 is assigned to r 4 is assigned to e and 19 is assigned to t therefore we have recorded the plain text letters and hence for the given cipher text that is j t n g t m which did not make any sense the authorized user made use of affine cipher decryption algorithm that is p is equal to c minus k2 into k1 inverse mod 26 with the key k1 as 3 and k2 as 7 he has successfully recovered the plain text that is the word secret so this is how the decryption using affine cipher is done so i hope you understood how decryption of affine cipher work if any concept is not understood i would request you to put it in the comment section so that i can reply to your comments so thank you guys stay healthy stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video